Welcome back to Physics Short Classes. In this video, we are going to find how to find anti-logarithm, and also we are going to calculate a value of x using the logarithm table. If you are watching this video for the first time, subscribe my channel so that you can watch more interesting and informative videos in physics. What is anti-logarithm? If a logarithm of a number n to the base a is x, then the number n is called anti-logarithm of x for the base a. Log of 100 to the base 10 is equal to 2, then 100 is anti-log of 2 for the base 10. So when we consider the anti-logarithm of a number, first we need to write the multiplier of the 10. In the below example, anti-log of 3.0723, 3 is representing the characteristic. Therefore, it determines the position of the decimal point. Hence, at the beginning only, whatever may be the answer we might get, we have to multiply it with the power of the 10, where the power to which the 10 is raised is equal to the characteristic of the given antilog. So therefore it is 10 raised to 3. Similarly for the next number it is 10 to the power of 0 as the characteristic is equal to 0 and for the last one it is equal to 10 to the power of minus 4 as the characteristic is bar 4. Bar 4 means it is negative. Remember that in every number which is given, the mantissa is always positive. Let us see to find out the anti-log of these numbers. Now we have opened the anti-logarithm table. Again, here also there are three parts. The far left column, you can see that it will start from 0.00, .00 and ends at 0.99. So this middle column represents the third significant figure and mean difference fourth significant figure. In the first number, the first two significant figures are 0, 07. So therefore, we are going to consider that row which contains 0 0.07. After underlining the entire row containing 0 0.07, we have to look for the third significant digit which is 2 in the middle column. The number which belongs to the 0 0.07 and the 2 will be 1180. And the last significant digit 3 it is read from the mean difference column which is equal to 1. Again adding these two we will get 1181. Here remember that to write the anti-logarithm of a given number, first we have to write the four digits which is read from the, the anti-log table. Then we have to place a decimal point after the first digit which has been obtained. First digit, decimal point followed by the other three digits into 10 to the power of the characteristic. That is how we are going to write the anti-log of a number. Now let us consider the next number which is 0.8826. The first two digits 0.88 it is found in the second page. We have to consider the entire row containing the 0.88. The next significant digit is 2. We have to consider that row here. Now we can see this. Okay, so here the number belonging to the 0.88 row and second column is 7621. Then the last digit is the 6. So therefore it is read from the mean difference column which is equal to 11. Adding these two we will get 7632. Therefore anti-log of 0.8826 should be 7.632 into 10 to the power of 0. 
Now let us consider the last number which is 0 0.5305. The row which contains 0 0.53. The first two significant digits is underlined. Then 0 read from the middle column. The number belonging to the 0 0.53 and 0 is 3388. Mean difference is 5. And the number belonging to the 0.53 and 5 mean difference column is 4. Adding them, we will get 3392. Hence, the answer will be 3.392 into 10 raised to minus 4. Students, we have learnt how to find out logarithm of a number and also anti logarithm of a logarithm of a number. Quick glance over the rules in logarithms. Rule of product, rule of quotient and rule of power. Since we have understood how to use logarithm and anti-logarithm table, we are going to calculate the value of x. So it is a very complex problem in which I tried to include every trick that can be learned using the logarithm. First, we have to take the logarithm on both sides. If we apply the rules of logarithm, the numerator will be taken as positive and denominator will be taken as negative. Multiplication is converted into addition and division is converted into subtraction. Now, applying the rule of powers, it will be written as log x is equal to log 36.39 plus log 0 0.04200 plus half log 93.20 plus 2 by 3 log 5.213 minus 1 by 6 log 1.320 minus 1 by 3 log 0 0.7014 minus 5 log 10. Now, using the logarithm table, we can write the characteristic and mantis of our log x, which is given by the following equation. In order to understand how to calculate the value of log x, we are going to consider the numerator and denominator of the given formula separately. First, let us consider the numerator. There are four terms given in the box. Here, the multiplication of 1.9694 with half and 0 0.7170 with 2 by 3 can be done using the simple arithmetic rules. Hence, we will get. Now, we need to add these. When we are adding them, we have to remember that the mantis of for each of the term will, will be positive, whereas the characteristic is both positive and negative for different terms. Hence, we are going to add them separately. First, adding the characteristic 1 plus bar 2 plus 0 plus 0, which is equal to 1 minus 2. We know that bar 2 is equal to minus 2. Hence, answer is minus 1, which can be written as bar 2. Similarly, for the mantissa, it can be added using simple rules of arithmetic. Answer is 2.6469. Now, we need to combine characteristic and mantissa for the numerator, which is equal to 1.6469. Now, let us consider the denominator. There are three terms. Dividing a number with negative characteristic follows the special rule which is given in the green box. Since we need to divide bar 1 with 3, it cannot be done directly. So therefore, we have to consider a negative characteristic equal to the denominator or it should be completely divisible by the denominator. The term 
which is closer to the bar 1 which is completely divisible by the 3 is bar 3. Hence, the second term is written as bar 3 plus 2.84 final. Now, dividing them, we will get bar 3 divided by 3 is equal to bar 1 plus 2.8459 divided by 3 will be equal to 0 0.9486 which is done using the simple rules of arithmetic. The answer will be bar 1.9486. The denominator has three terms which will be written as shown in the box. Now again we are going to add the characteristic and mantissa of the denominator separately. Characteristic will be equal to 4. Mantissa will be equal to 0 0.9687. Combining them, we will get 4.9687. Now let us return to our main page. Log x will be equal to 1.6469 minus 4.9687. Now again, we are going to combine the mantissa and characteristic separately. The characteristic will be is equal to 1 minus 4 which is equal to minus 3 and it is represented as part 3. Similarly, the mantissa, in order to subtract larger term from the smaller term, we need to borrow numbers. But here, since we are borrowing 1 from the 0, it will be is equal to bar 1. Therefore, 0 0.6469 can be written as bar 1 plus 1 1.6469. Now, you can use the simple rule of arithmetic and combine the characteristic and mandisa. The answer is bar 1.698. Hence, log x will be is equal to bar 4.698 x equal to anti log of log x or it is equal to anti log of bar 4.6983. Consulting the anti logarithm table, we get the answer x is equal to 4.992 into 10 raised to minus 4. I hope you have understood steps involved in finding the value of x. Here it might appear lengthy for you to use the logarithm table. But remember that since you are doing it for the first time, it appears to be difficult as we know that we cannot use the scientific calculators and we have to use only the simple calculators. The such calculations cannot be done with the help of simple calculators. There is no other choice but to learn the use of logarithm table. If you practice it more, you will get confident in using the logarithm table. You can practice with the following homework. Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe the channel in order to watch interesting, informative, and useful videos.